Um, of course, Brandon's boxing isn't going to be fully what his jiu-jitsu skills are, but what is your opinion if he was part of, say, a YouTuber MMA bout? Oh, I think, he, I think he'd beat most people, you know, 100%. Um, but here's the thing about YouTube MMA, right? I was actually thinking about this earlier because uh, Overt Flow said that nobody would want to challenge him to an MMA fight. First off, wrong. All right. Very wrong. Second off, um, like MMA, there's a much steeper learning curve, right? It's a lot easier to just slap gloves on dudes and have them throw punches, you know, like, like that, right? Throw the, throw the little, the girl punches, you know, it's easier to get away with that than it is, um, MMA. YouTube MMA, as interesting as it might be, there's a much steeper learning curve, which means there's going to be a lot less people that are actually going to be able to get away with doing it, right? Unless there's going to be people that just decide, oh, like I have no Brazilian jiu-jitsu, I have no wrestling experience, or I have like a little bit of high school wrestling experience, let's say, or I took a month of BJJ, right? Uh, unless there's going to be people like that who go in there and they end up getting trounced, that's not really going to happen right? Uh, you can throw gloves on people and have them throw arm punches at each other and everything will turn out fine for the most part. But when you add in that, that third dimension, right? When you add in ground game and things like that, there's a whole new level, right? And the thing is, it's not even just as simple as, oh yeah, I do Brazilian jiu-jitsu. It's not even as simple as that. Uh, my first fight, I got destroyed because I didn't know the transitions game right? Or at least I didn't know it as well as I should have. And because of that, I ended up getting taken down. I didn't really practice sprawling from a, uh, from a, from a striking stance, right? So it was easy to take me down. And then when I was on my back, I just got pounded on and I was hunting for submissions the whole time, but I wasn't finding any. And I was just getting pounded on, right? It was actually like kind of a traumatic experience. I'm not going to lie. I'll, I'll be, I'll be completely honest with you. Um, but like, because I didn't know that you could or that you should try to stand up from bottom or side control or wherever, right? Because I didn't know about that, I was like, oh, like, I guess I'll just hunt for submissions. And because of that, I ended up, like, fucked up. Like, it was a terrible bruise, blood vessels in my eye popped. The guy beat me up so bad that he broke his hand on my face. That's That's how bad it was. And the reason I'm explaining this to you is because... I was training for a while, right? But because I didn't train the right way, I was not actually prepared for an MMA fight. So you take these YouTubers, you take um, Yodeling Haley, right? And you put her up against uh, the, the, the clown goth chick that I was talking about earlier. And it's just gonna, it's not even gonna be an entertaining like bloodbath. It's just gonna be a bloodbath where you feel really, really bad for whoever ends up losing. Right. Uh, not to mention the fact that, as I said, a lot of people are just not going to want to do it because it's one thing going into a boxing gym. But when you got to go into a boxing gym and then the next day or who knows, maybe even the same day, you got to go from boxing to jujitsu. That can be very, very tiring, you know.